Sports fans, I am backstage with the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. Hey, I, I mean, it was good. I just knew that I had to come out there and keep the pressure just like I like to do. Um, it's, my, it's my debut, so I was really wanting to really push hard on it and, and make a statement because it's bringing me back to my roots. One thing that I love more than anything is going bare knuckle. So being able to actually fulfill that goal of mine through the combat sports, been good. And to come out the victor as quick as I did. Um, I, I really wanted to knock him out, but I, the TKO worked. I, I mean, I, sounds bad, but... You know, it's all good. So, uh, the way I prepare my fights is, uh, is I'm, I'm always working with my kids. I work a full-time job, running a, run a big construction site. Um, but that's what I do. I, I train at the uh, rec center there locally. My kids help me. My uh, fiance helps me. They're constantly pushing me through, and that's the way that I do it. My coach, he'll come out. He'll fly out from Utah. I'm originally from Utah, so he flies out and makes sure that I'm prepared to come in here and bang. So the, what I saw when I got in there was – the way he was set up, he was set up like an MMA fighter. And I fought MMA for over 18 years. I know how to get in on him, and I can get in and stay in. That's why he tried to take me down, if you notice, right off the bat when I put that pressure. And I knew I could get him from there. Because the way that I prepared for the Trigon is we set up a little simulation and getting in there knowing that you can't run. You can't get away. It forces you to fight, and that's what I really like about the Trigon is it forces you to knuckle up. Uh, I got a fight in, uh, next month with Fierce Fighting Championship in Utah. If you guys want to check that out, FierceFightingChampionship.com. So if you guys could, tune in there and uh, watch me do it. It's MMA. So, and then uh, as soon as you all have me back here for BYB, I'll be back bare knuckle. I'd like to support or I'd like to uh, represent the United States too over in London. Yeah, my sponsors, I want to thank uh, Sign Guys, Stoneman Boxing, which is my coach, and then uh, Provo Death or Glory, uh, Death or Glory Tattoo. Out of, uh, they got two... Uh, Two locations in Orem and in Provo, Utah. I'm Jerome Hatch with Bare Knuckle News, and no one beats us to the punch.